what is up you guys welcome back to my channel i go by risha marie and this is my little cousin and um this is not my first time doing his hair in fact i have two other hair videos with him um but we're gonna jump right in and we're gonna use the raw shea butter extra moisture detangler um and really just moisturize that in i decided to do this video to show a low manipulation style that works really good for him and his tender head and it might be something that works good for you guys or anyone you know that may have um that may be tender headed as well so as you can see he still is very much tender-headed and opinionated um but i decided to do this video because on the first video i ever did with him i do get a lot of comments about like did i find any tips and tricks that make it better make it more enjoyable for them so i wanted to make this video to help you guys out a little bit um also a tip when you're blow drying open a window because all that steam will have your smoke detectors going off so i was like oh wait let me open this window before these smoke detectors go crazy um so make sure you do that <laughs> I decided to keep some of those clips in just to be realistic like it's never going to be a hundred percent you know pain free for them um and i some of the clips i kept at normal speed like this one to show you how i detangle like i go through the ends and then i kind of try to work the knots up instead of pulling straight from his roots um just to make it a little bit more um will take some of the pain away and this is in real time how slow and intentional i am going through with the blow dryer um so you can get it straighter faster and i have to do well straighter with less passes of the brush um like i said realistically it's not going to be a hundred percent pain free for tender headed people like i don't know that struggle i've never been there but you're not gonna get there and look at his face you can tell <laughs> i'm sorry it's not funny because like i do feel bad for him but it's so funny like his face sometimes is just like i'm fed up i am over you completely um but just being real intentional when you detangle get you something that works as a moisturizer and a detangling agent and then take your time detangling um go from you know the ends to the roots it's still going to be tough for them they're still going to be bobbing and weaving but if you guys seen the first video i did with him when it was tears this is a giant improvement okay we we deserve a round of applause for how far we have come um because it was straight tears the first time i detangled his hair um so we are coming look at his face he's like no not the blow dryer you came with more not the blow dryer he is fed up but i mean he knows the process he knows how this goes um but you know very intentional with each time you touch the hair especially with the scalp i make sure to um try to have a good grip of the hair so it's not really tugging as much on this scalp try to detangle as much as you can before moving on to the next step um that's always helpful um, but like I said, I, I get a lot of comments in that first video that I ever did with him about like, you know, tips and tricks of what works for me um, or what has worked. And the big, big key when it comes to working with people with tender um, heads that I've come to notice is repetition. Um, you know, getting their hair done or doing their hair on a regular basis so that their scalp can get used to it. Because I mean, their scalp is tender because it never gets touched um when it comes to you know boys or girls if you give up because they're crying or they're upset that's not going to help the process because they're never going to get used to it they're never going to get a little bit more um some people even grow out of being tender headed but they're never going to get to the point where you know it's less painful because then every time you come back to it or you revisit it it's like a culture shock again because they went so long without you um touching their hair so um you know repetition and figuring out styles that you know are still cute or styles that you still like and stuff like that but are low manipulation so you're not um pulling at the scalp so much um the style that i'm doing today is like just some i guess you guys will call them not list braids but they're just like some plaids honestly they work well for him they last long on him and 
I can actually get through this entire style without him crying. So that one is a win in the books, okay? So I separate his hair um, top to bottom. I only use two products um, when using his hair. I use that detangler that works as a moisturizer and a detangler. And then I use some Shine and Jam Gel. Um, I try to keep it as simple as possible so we can keep the process going. The quicker we can get him in and out, the happier he will be. Um, I separate the hair from ear to ear and put the top away. And then I'm separating a row in the back. And when I tell you guys this is the simplest style, um, it works for girls and boys. Like, I would just throw some beads on this if he was a little girl. Uh if he was a girl and then for him i just end his with a little rubber band because his hair is really coily you see he has really thick hair so it tends to wrap around itself and you know it creates more knots and stuff like that actually he does need a trim i do do a little dusting at the end of the video but maybe next time i'll give him a full trim but i just apply the rubber bands at the end um to keep the hair from tangling around itself um uh, a trick that I use when I part like you you still want crispy parts but you know they hate you touching their scalp um I always try to part with the rat tail because that tends like we don't tend to apply as much pressure but when I do have to um, uh, um part with the other end of the comb like the actual teeth I try to go really really light on his scalp um that way he doesn't you know buckle as much and um he's a little bit more calmer and um knowing what we're uh knowing their more tender spots like he's more tender headed in the back um in the front at the top he's not as tender headed um but on the in the back especially the nape area he don't like that but the front he he's he's getting a little better with but why are kids always so snotty nose like that's another thing i don't understand it but <laughs> I had to stop and get some tissue like it's like a constant thing kids stay sick i mean like i did, you was not snotty nose like five minutes ago where did this come from um but yeah I, i'm just doing these individual plaits um making the parts as crispy as i can some of the parts do come out a little crooked i'm not gonna lie to y'all because you see he be moving and jumping but um this style um this will last him a good amount of time and um like i said it will um no tears no tears this whole process he didn't cry when i detangled um he didn't cry when i blow dry i mean yeah he told me it hurt and he don't like it and stuff like that but um and no um tears when i'm actually braiding a little bit when i braid like the top part of his head but when i start braiding down he's cool um and this style works for him i do other styles on his head still because like he can't wear these all the time i mean he could but you know his mom likes for him to switch it up so i do do other styles for him um but this style is like a go-to low manipulation like he even took a nap like i was like that is a win in the book like when we got towards the end he he low-key kind of fell asleep and i was like that's a win in my book um so you know being intentional with each step in the process like detangling a lot of people don't like to blow dry i like to blow dry their hair um tender especially tender head before i go into braiding because it helps you know you're not running into as many knots and snags which you know will upset them so just trying to make the process as easy as possible he was asking me like how many more left like is we is we ending this anytime soon but yeah um i just repeated this throughout his entire head and of course i like to finish it off with um a, a foam or a mousse and then you're gonna see um that i dusted his hair as well if you guys have any questions or comments, um, make sure you leave them down below. I stepped out the room, so I guess he thought he was a YouTuber real quick. But um, make sure you leave those comments down below. And then also, um, I will leave links to his other two videos so you can see how far he's come. He really has come a long way when it comes to this. He still don't like it. I still say cut his hair, but look, I can't. I can't control it, okay? Um, if he, I, I say cut it, but hey, I can't control that. I don't, you know, I don't make those decisions. Um, but hey, if it works, if we can get through it without any tears, we win it. Um, I go through with the blow dry after the phone just to help everything set in place. And then you're finna see I do a quick dusting, like I said. Um, dusting is just taking off, you know, the, the split ends at the very end, like a, a quick dust at the end. So those little raggedy ends and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the final look look super crispy super nice um 
you know, he can throw his hair up in a little bun or something if he's, you know, playing in school or whatever the case may be. And, you know, his braids look crispy and they last him a good amount of time. And he actually likes these. So, yeah, you guys, make sure you like this video. Make sure you thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and I will catch you guys in my next video. And let me know what type of videos you would like to see from me next. All right. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.